everyone. Welcome to Watercolor Bible Journaling. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor Stamping and this technique. So this week we are going to do the second half of this project. So we started out with the right hand side of our Bible uh, using the Good Shepherd set. And this time we are going to continue on and do the left hand side. So I'm gonna show you how to put that together. Uh, we're going to use the Good Shepherd set, of course, and we're going to use just this part of the stamp. So this is all one stamp here. We're just gonna use this section and this little guy down here. We're also going to use the sentiment. Uh, in addition, we're going to use part of this set. So this is the Light to My Path set. It contains a little bench. We're gonna use that. These stamps are all interchangeable. Uh, in the flower set, we're going to use a couple of things. So this one right here, this little filler flower, this long stem right here, we're gonna use those two. And then in the foliage set, we're going to use the little grass and the vine. Okay, so let's get going. We're going to start out <clears throat> by inking the basic image. So let me move this over. I've got my palette over here on the left-hand side so that I can add color. And we're going to start out by stamping that little bench. So I've got it attached to my uh, acrylic block and I'm going to ink it in sepia. So I'm just gonna kind of take my marker and I'm going to run it all over the stamp. Use the side of your marker. It's going to work the best. And I'm going to stamp it right down here in the bottom. So just like this. And then above it, I'm going to take just part of this stamp. So you can see it's got the two sheep on here. It's got a grass line and it's got some rocks. So we're only going to use the rocks this time. And we're going to ink that in two colors. So we're going to uh, ink that in sepia and African violet. And then uh, we're going to stamp that off because we don't want that to be too dark. So I'm just gonna take a, a separate piece of paper and stamp that off and add just a little bit more sepia to it. And I'm going to stamp that now right above my little bench. So just like that, that looks good. And then right above that, we're going to add the little sheep. So two colors again on this one. So African Violet, just ink this all up. And then Sepia as well, so two colors. And I'm gonna stamp this one off too because I don't want the lines too heavy and thick. So I'm just gonna ink, ink it and just stamp it off and place it right about here on the side of my page. So I've got three images in here. And so now we can go ahead and start the fun part. And that is to pull the color out of the line. So I'm gonna dip my brush in water and pinch it off. So you wanna make sure that you have pinched off most of the water. And let's start with the little rocks. So we're going to just drag this color out of the rocks. And by the way, I have prepped my page. So um, if you have not done that before or you aren't sure what that means, go to the very first video and look up page prep and see how to do that. It's really, really important that you do that because uh, that will keep your color from bleeding through and your, your page from puckering. So it really, really makes a difference. So I'm gonna dip my brush again and pinch it off and I'm gonna go down here to this little, this little bench and pull this color out of the lines. And these little, uh, legs back here in the back, these are gonna be really dark. And so is this area on the side. And you can see these lines back here in the back. So we're gonna pull that color out as well. Just so fun. You can see it's already starting to look three dimensional. And that's what we're going for. We want this to look like a little uh, watercolor painting, something really soft and uh, not anything too harsh. Uh, but something that will illustrate this passage. Okay, so you can see I'm working my way over to the little sheep now and I'm, I'm really darkening in his, his little legs so that uh, they look darker. I want to keep the color away from his eyes. That's really important. And you can see I've, I've kind of kept the color down underneath. So up above here is where it's going to be the lightest and we'll come back uh, come back over to him in a little bit. So you can see on my page, we've kind of created a little stream. So let me just move this over here. And you can see that there's a, um, a little stream over here. 
So we're going to continue that stream across our page and just continue that over onto this side. So we're just gonna brush that that um, that water in. Don't stress out about stuff like this. Super, super easy to do. And all we're going to do is add some color to our palette. So let me position this so that you can see. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna add some, some uh, African Violet now to our palette, just with a marker. And we're going to uh, dip our brush in water and make sure we get enough water on here. And then we're just going to drag this color, kind of see the continuation. And we're going to bring this, this little water, this little stream, right behind the bench. And you can continue that clear across the page if you want to. So you can prep your page and just go clear across your Bible. Easy to do. And the more that you do this technique, the more confidence you'll get to try those things. Okay, so I've got my little stream in here and you can see it doesn't take much. It's just kind of the idea of the stream. And let's go back in now with some green. This is the number 15 green. And I'm going to just now add some of this green now to this little, um, the little creek bank and just color it in, just easy. We can put a little bit up in here too. You don't have to color in all the areas. You're just kind of given the idea uh, that this is a little bank. And then of course we wanna put it over on this side too. And it looks like our little bench is sitting on a little grassy edge. And just keep, just keep brushing this on. And then up above where our little sheep is, of course we want this little guy. We don't want him floating in space. So let's just put a little grassy hill in here as well. And just put as much in as this as you want. Like I said, don't, don't stress over stuff like this. A little bit over here by these rocks. And that looks pretty good. Okay, let's go on now to the bench uh, again, and we're going to add some color to it. This is purely optional. You could leave the bench just the way it is, or you could add some color. It's kind of fun to do that. And we're going to add it from our palette. So never direct to paper. So you don't want to ever take your marker and color onto your page. You always want to color to your palette first, and then take that color with your marker, with your brush and then just kind of brush it on. Remember where those dark areas are on the sides and back in the back? This back in here, it's gonna be really dark. And then this area on the top, this is going to be lighter. So it just needs the idea of the color. So like so. And let's add a little more color now to the little sheep up above. So this is sepia. It's kind of the color of dirt. We've used it before. And if you watch these videos, we're gonna use it a lot. So you'll see me use this color a lot. And I'm just going to add a little of this onto this little sheep. Okay, so let's go on now. And we're going to use our little grass. So this is a very tiny grass from the foliage set. And we're going to first make sure everything is dry. Make sure this is all dry. It dries really quickly, so that's usually not a problem. And we're gonna ink it now with the green and just put in uh, as much of this as you want. Remember, you're tapping it in, so you're stamping it in a bunch of times um, along this, this little bank. Uh, over here by the bench. And then up here, where this little sheep is. And again, you can put as much of, of this in as you want to. Just remember that you're walking it. So in other words, you're stamping it over and over again, not just one or two times, but you wanna stamp it in a bunch of times. And that's gonna give you a much more uh, natural look to your image. We don't want anyone to know that we're stamping. We want them to think this is a little watercolor painting, but we also wanna be able to do it in just a few minutes. So this is the perfect way to do that. 
So I'm just adding a little more color now to the stream. And then we want a shadow underneath this, this little bench. So add some of this dark blue. So this is the African Violet and you're just going to brush in uh, just a little area underneath the bench. And the same underneath this little, this little sheep. You want to see a little shadow under him as well. We could put a little shadow under these rocks. And you can add some of this blue color in here too. Rocks actually have lots of different colors to them. Even if they're just gray rocks, you can see lots of grays and blues and multiple colors. And you just, the more that you do it, the more confident you get to try that. Adding more and more color to your image. I'm gonna take some of this blue now and really darken this behind here. And this underneath the bench. So we can really see that that's a shadow back there. So I'm going to now add just a little of this blue into the background. So this is the African Violet. And I'm really just really watering this down just so that I get an idea of the sky. And you can see if you if you keep it off of, off of this, if you leave a little space here between the sky and the ground, you can see that you've kind of created a little cloud line there. So we are about finished with this section. And I want to use this space up here and add some text in here. So uh, once, once we're finished with this area, we're gonna kind of move our way up to here. So let me drop this down a little bit so you can see. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna add the sentiment in here and I'm going to create a little border around it. So I've cut a sticky note or a post-it. Uh, this is actually just post-it tape and I've cut it in, the, in a square. So I'm gonna cover this area and then I'm gonna stamp my text in the center. So I'm gonna create this border around it. So this is gonna protect my area on the inside. So I'm gonna start with my vine and I'm just gonna ink this up and you can just kind of stamp this however. You don't have to worry about stuff like this. Because by the time we add the water to it, it just really kind of does its thing. It's really, really easy. So just kind of turn your, turn your block and just kind of work your way around. Uh, you can add other greens to it. And just do it like that. And we're gonna go back over it now and we're gonna add water to it. So pinch your brush off and we're just gonna dab. So just touch all these little areas, all these areas where the leaves are. So you can see my hand is flat on the, flat on the table and I'm just dabbing at all these areas that I've just stamped. And again, you can see that I've stamped it multiple times. So more than once, you wanna get it in there two or three or four times so you can get that dark to light impression. And you want that also when you're doing these little borders, really important. And the goal is always that we get a three-dimensional image. It's always what we're going for. Okay, so you can see that's starting to look like a watercolor painting. So we're gonna come back in here now and we're going to add some, some flowers. And I'm gonna use this little Filler flower, so this is from the flower set, and I'm using a number 17, so this is a light blue. And I'm just kind of tapping this in here. You can see I'm stamping over the top of this post-it tape, but it's protecting my areas, so it doesn't matter if I uh, stamp over the top. And I'm stamping this again, too, uh, over and over again, so it's really, really important that we stamp it a bunch of times. Maybe just a couple more over here. And now we're gonna add water to that. So same technique, stamp and add water. It just couldn't be any simpler than that. Just so easy. And I love that uh, this technique kind of carries the same thing throughout. 
So I, I kind of like uniformity. I like to have everything kind of similar. I want to see different, different, um, you know, different images and compositions, but I like the idea of things kind of looking similar. It's a little more harmonious, I think. Uh, so that everything isn't just crazy and different and wild and uh, bold. Uh, but that's just my personal preference. <clears throat> okay, so I've got these flowers in here now. So let's add uh, some long stems. So this one right here. And I'm just going to continue with the same blue theme. So I'm going to take this African violet and just ink the, the little blooms. And let's change up the green. Let's pick a different green here. This is pine green. So this is more of a cool green. And we're just going to add a few of these in here. So I'm going to ink it and stamp it. And let's just add a few down here and a few up here. And a couple more, and we're going to be about finished with this little border. So again, remember you're you're always adding water to what you've just what you've just stamped. And just dab. So you can see these lines are very tiny. So you just want to carefully add water to that. You don't want to I mean, you want to see the integrity of the image, but you want to just kind of blend it out and keep it really soft. Let's just do another one more little thing here, and that's maybe add some dots. So dots are really kind of fun to do. And you'll be surprised how you kind of develop your own style when you're doing this. Uh, and the more that you do, of course, the better at it you're going to get. So I guess by the time you get to Revelation, you're going to be... Uh, just a pro. Okay, so we are ready to take off our our post-it tape. And you can see we've got a beautiful little border here that just kind of fits and I've kind of carried the same theme. So you don't want to get too crazy with the color, I think. And again, that goes along with the uniformity and trying to keep things more subdued uh, so that we don't overpower the text. You know, it is about the text and about what God is saying in his word. And so we want to just kind of remember that and stay on the page, but we don't want to overpower that. And so it's better to keep the colors similar and not try to get every color of the rainbow on here. So I'm going to take a little of this same blue now, the same African violet, and I'm just going to kind of go over this, this line here. Just so I have a little more of a border here. Just like that. And I'm gonna use my positioner now because I wanna make sure that after all of this, I have got my sentiment uh, in the correct place. So a uh, positioner is just a little acrylic sheet and an L bar. So let's make sure this is stamped right side up. And I'm going to use my African Violet. And I just wanna ink this up really good. And I think I'm gonna stamp it off one time just to make sure that I've got it inked well. And I'm gonna do it one more time. Stamp it into the center and position it exactly where I want it to go. Huff on it, and then stamp it with really good even pressure. And we have finished. Uh, always date the bottom. So uh, put the date down at the bottom. You don't necessarily have to initial it, but put the date down at the bottom so that you know when it was that you did this project. And you can see that we've done both sides now. Super fun. And you can do this technique uh, on every page if you want to. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate it so much. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you real soon.